Developed to test the function of the water pump in situ, the tester gives an effective indication of the flow by measuring small pressure rises as the coolant flows around the block. The connection procedure will vary according to the type of cooling system fitted. The engine must be cold, with the thermostat closed. We need to measure flow direct from the water pump, thus always connect to the engine side of the thermostat. In this engine we simply disconnect the auxiliary pipe from the expansion tank and connect the tester using the adapter from the kit. If the expansion tank is fed from the radiator side of the thermostat, we need to connect to a pipe that has direct access to the engine block. In this case we go in via the main heater pipe, which comes straight off the water pump and feeds the heater mattress. We use the hard pipe adapter to connect to the engine pipe, and the heater hose is blocked off using the male hose adapter and a blanking plug. On this Volkswagen engine we are going to connect the tester to the expansion tank auxiliary pipe and then demonstrate the readings on the gauge for a healthy water pump and cooling system. The plastic hose connecting to the gauge is long enough to enable the operator to sit in the driver's seat to conduct the test. Steady reading at idle, then the needle increases with engine revs but the needle remains steady. This is a good reading. However, on this engine, there's little response on the needle as the engine revs. This points to a broken or seized impeller on the water pump. This engine is idling, but the needle rises immediately and is fluctuating wildly, all pointing to a blown head gasket. And with this engine, as the revs are held at between 2 to 3,000 RPM, the needle fluctuates. This could indicate pump slippage or impeller damage. 